everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn unboxing host Jennifer. Now, you already know it's Piao! 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 <laughs> it is Premier Yarn of the Week. So, on Premier Yarn of the Week we talk about Premier Yarn. Well today we're doing an unboxing. Nothing extra, just an unboxing. Um, Belly, stop. That beautiful red tape means we got a premier package. So, now, this unboxing has been a while coming because I came up with this idea uh, a couple of months ago, I think. So, if I just pivot you guys ever so slightly, this shelf right here is my rainbow shelf, but it is a little disorderly currently. Um, the reason it's my rainbow shelf is back in the day, like last year, Bentley is back there rummaging through stuff. I have no doubt he's going to find something to chew on. I had an entire, I think it was this bookshelf right here, was rainbow. So I had a red shelf, um, an orange slash pink shelf because I didn't have a lot of orange, a yellow slash green shelf. I had a blue shelf and a purple shelf. And as... I thought you were going to find something to chew on. I will be right back. Sorry. <laughs> so, when I rearranged the room, this room has been rearranged a lot, I decided to take down the rainbow because I was not using the rainbow. If you're not using the rainbow, you should get rid of the rainbow, right? I'm going to pull my hair up because I'm actually getting hot. And I, it was a lot of solid colored yarn. And I don't tend to use or lean towards solid color yarn. I use variegated self-striping yarns most often. I like color. So I decided to take the rainbow. I still wanted a rainbow. And I condensed it down to just that shelf that I showed you. And it's been fine. I have enough rainbow that if I need a specific color, I can go and get a red or get a, because there was a time when I first started crocheting, when I first started this channel, actually it might have been before I started this channel. Mr. said I was working on a project and I think I was working on, I think I was working on something Christmassy. I'm not positive. And I was like, God, I, got, I had a lot of yarn at the time. I had a whole one whole bookshelf. And I was like, okay, I don't have any red. How do I not have red? I got every other color. How do I not have red? So Mr. Cinnamon actually stopped by AC Moore at the time because AC Moore does not exist anymore. He stopped by AC Moore and picked me up a big giant red skein of the AC Moore Stitch Studio yarn, which I really liked. And then I had red. And I've always had red in my stash ever since then. And actually, I have quite a few different shades of red. <laughs> so, the the rainbow shelf... Let's, let's see. Yeah, it's right here. Right here. The rainbow shelf... Um, it has a wide variety of yarns. It's got a lot of, like, the neon colors, which I don't really think of as the rainbow colors like it's it could be a neon rainbow but like it's I want it to just be a rainbow of colors so that I have the colors like if I want a certain shade red I have it or if I need orange there's orange in there that's not flame orange etc so my idea was and I also have like I said it's different brands in there so there's lion brand there's um there's Lion Brand and Premier Yarns for one, but there's also, um, like, I think there's Bernat in there. There's there's different yarns that are not my favorite yarns. My favorite yarn, if you've been around for any amount of time, is Anti-Paling Acrylic. Specifically, Premier Anti-Paling Acrylic. I like Premier as a brand. I've tried other Anti-Paling Acrylics that I absolutely love, but I always go back to Premier. You guys know this. I love Premier. I, Premier is what started this channel. Premier is just my favorite yarn. And that's why I promote it, because I personally, it's my favorite. It's what I want to work with. It's what I want to reach for first. And so like, I have all these other yarns. 
why is my rainbow not my favorite yarn? Because that would make more sense. And I had this epiphany after I realized I didn't have white or black yarn. And so I ordered white and black anti-pilling acrylic <laughs> that I had. And I was like, okay, but you got the white and the black, but you don't have any of the other colors. I'm always promoting these yarns. They're my favorite yarns to work with. Why do I not have a shelf of them? Right? I have all the brands. So that was what that's what this boxing is, this unboxing is. I bought the colors. Now, what I did is I went on Premier's website and I pulled up the Everyday Anti-Pilling Worsted Weight Yarn. And <clears throat> I'm going to open that now because just so that I know what I'm talking about. I opened up the page and I looked at the colors and I was like, okay, rainbow colors. So I didn't want pinks and purples necessarily because I wanted Roy G. Biff, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay. And I wanted a couple of varieties of those colors because I have, I have turquoise, I have pinks, I have fuchsias, I have purple. I have those. Well, purple is part of Roy G. Biff. I didn't want pink. I don't know why. I just, I'm not a big fan of just straight pink. I don't use it a lot. I love the color pink. But, I it, like, I don't know. I just wanted Roy G. Biff, right? So, I went to... It's loading. I went to the Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted. Just $4.99 of all. And they have 67 colors. I can get... All of them on my phone screen. These are all the colors that come in the regular everyday worsted, not including the like all the other everyday brands. So they have everyday Heather or not Heathered Medley. They have the everyday um, variegated ones. I just went and looked at the solids and then I picked the ones that I figured were closest to Roy G. Biv. So that's what we did. That's what I'm going to show you. I did not order all of them because I cannot afford to order 67 skeins of yarn. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> I will, if I had the money, I would have absolutely ordered all 67 colors. But we got a good start, okay? We got a really good start. I got, and I'm going to show you all the different colors that I bought. And we're going to talk about the yarn. But I'm going to definitely, definitely show you all of the colors. Now looking on the internet is kind of hard because you're like, okay, well, even with their cool new tool, that tool can sometimes be a little inaccurate. How many did I order? Does not say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. I ordered twenty-two skeins of yarn. Had a gift card, so that helped. Got free shipping. <laughs> it all worked out very well. Very, very well. All right, so this is all the everyday worsted. All the everyday worsted. Um ordered a variety of colors rainbow colors okay so I'm gonna try and figure out how I can do this in the best most efficient way possible I would like to essentially put them in my box in rainbow order So that we can see the colors okay now this one is technically not red but they don't have a lot of reds so i grabbed the red that they had and this is called rosewood now this is all anti-pilling it's all everyday worsted it's all i think they're all 180 yards 100 percent acrylic so we don't need to go over that it's worsted weight it's washable and dryable you wash it and dry it to like 300 times it's not going to get those little pills and fuzzies it stays beautiful wash after wash <laughs> and it is tested and approved against all the harmful things so this is the color rosewood that is pretty accurate my camera's really good at picking up colors so this is like it's supposed to be in the red family according to my brain um i would not have purchased this if i was not doing the rainbow thing because this color is really weird to me 
it's kind of like a brick meets rust. But, I mean, if you need this color in your life, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. This is the color, this looks like carrot. This is pumpkin. So I'm gonna put them next to each other so you can get an idea of what, that's perfect with it. Okay, and then this color is mustard. I, those would go fantastic together. Well, no. These go good together, and these go good together. I don't like the yellow with the pink though. Okay, so we got rosewood, orange, mustard. So red, orange, yellow. Let's open a green pack so we got the green. And I had fun going through and looking and deciding which yarns, what colors I was gonna get. They had a lot of green, a lot of green to choose from. I'm gonna open my phone back up so that I know what I'm talking about. All right, green, 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 green. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. So they had at least seven that I would consider green, but a lot of them are not ones that I would like or I didn't like online. So this is the color butter. It's very, that's beautiful. That's very, right. that's spot on. This is the color lake. This is one of my favorite colors. And then this one is the color meadow. Those are very, very accurate. All right, so we got red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I don't have room for purple in the box. We'll figure it out. This goes in the yellow category. On to the next. See, and that beautiful already is beautiful. <laughs> I cannot wait to do my shelf. Hopefully, I can get the shelf done and put a picture of it in this video for you guys because that would be fantastic. It all depends on how today's go. So this is the next pack. This one has two greens in it. Oh, I missed a green. I missed a green. This is green apple. That is very pretty. That's probably my favorite of all the greens. It's very pretty. So we'll put that there. Actually, I'll switch that out. That looks a little better. We're gonna just, we're gonna play with these, okay? <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck to the tape. I guess I did get a pink. This is gonna go in the red category. All right, this this color is azalea. So we got rosewood and azalea. Those go beautifully together. Look at that. That goes in the red category. We're not gonna mess with the purple right now because I don't have room for purple. This is the color fern green. And this one is the color spruce. Very pretty, kind of like the fern green a little bit more. It's a little darker. Um, this is more of like a Christmas or a in the woods type color. Very pretty. Green. We got another blue. This is the color blueberry. Which this actually reminds me, well, it's denim adjacent. So I wouldn't, this, I think blueberry is more of a leaning towards purpley blueberry, you know? It's still a beautiful color. You're turning violet, violet. Blue. Alright, like I said, we got a purple too. This one is African violet. I used to be, though I used to be really bad with plants. The only plant I could keep alive was African violet. <laughs> and I had one this color. All right. Next pack, we've got two packs left. Two packs. This one is like the primaries. This is what I think of when I think of red. This and this. All right. Got the color burgundy. That is a very rich berry colored color. It says burgundy, but this is like cranberry or wine or Merlot. It's beautiful. Put that in. 
the reds. <laughs> the reds. They didn't have a lot of reds. And like red, they have one. Yeah. Let me show you guys. Not a lot to choose from. There's a red down there and a red up there. So that's why I actually I have I'm gonna keep the Heartland because I have a beautiful red that's from Heart it's a Heartland yarn from Wine Brand. It's my favorite red. It's like a marled. It's very similar to the um the the everyday medley from Premier Yarns. So we're gonna probably put that in the red shelf too. This is the color Sunshine. This is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous. There's another yellow in here too. This is very yellow. So that's sunshine. I'm walking on sunshine. Yeah. And don't feel good. All right. This is really, really red. It's really red. It almost ma almost matches my shirt. That's really red. That goes in the red pile. That's it for the reds. <laughs> is it? <laughs> and then we have this is twilight blue which this is remember this one's blueberry this one's twilight blue just slightly slightly different and then this one is the lake so this one's more teal leaning once again blueberry and twilight blue And then another purple that don't fit in there. This is aubergine. The beautiful, beautiful purple. This is probably my favorite of the purples. And that's the other purple I showed you that was African violet. Last package. Hopefully this gives you an idea of some of the colors a little bit closer up. To the Premier Yarns. This is an old label. <laughs> this is the new label. This one's been this one's been around a while. This is the color lemon, and this is like lem. This is yellow. I mean, look at that compared to the other ones. This is yellow, yellow. It is very, very lemony. It makes me want to go eat a lemon, which I might, cause I like to eat lemons. There's my. That's all of my yellows. All right, and then I got. I do not. I only bought one orange. How does that make sense? I only bought one orange. Let me check the color thing. That's because that's all they had. No. They have rust. I don't like rust, so that's probably why I didn't buy rust. Okay, they don't have a lot of oranges. All right, this is the color Kiwi, which I know for a fact I have more Kiwi over on that shelf because at one time the Kiwi was, um, with the old label, the Kiwi was in um, one of my first videos. I got like six Kiwi in a mystery bag from Premiere. And so I had so much of the Kiwi at one time and I used a lot of it up and then I put some of it in mystery boxes and stuff. This yarn is so soft. Now... I'm going to tell you, you guys know, I've had so many, I'm going to put the green, I'm just going to leave the green, well, I might as well take the orange out, put it in yellow, since we only got one, and now I got room for purple, right? Does that make more sense? That totally makes more sense. Okay. With my skin problems, you guys know that I had a really, really bad eczema flare-up last week. It was, it was bad. Um, th this yarn, and I'm so glad that this all happened at the same time. This is one of the yarns that I can touch no matter what. If I'm having a bad eczema flare, this doesn't stick to my skin. Because my skin gets what I call Velcro skin. It gets little spurs of skin that stick out, like dry pieces of skin. that, And it Velcros to yarn. And I'm not, I don't get that with this yarn. And I want to have more of this in my life so that I know I can go and 
even on a bad hand day, a dry season for me, which is winter, <laughs> um, when my hands are really specifically Velcro-y, I can use this yarn. So that's one of the main reasons I really love anti-pilling acrylic. This one is the color navy. It's a very, very deep, that is perfect. That is a perfect representation. It is, there you go, it's dark. It's beautiful, it's rich, it's vibrant. And it goes so good with those other blues. Can you guys see that? Don't worry, I'll bring you in to see the box. And the last but not least, I have royal blue, which is, is a very beautiful royal blue. It's not near as dark as the navy. Big difference. <laughs> but see, when you look at, look at how vibrant that is. How saturated that is. Absolutely beautiful. All right, now, the three purples that I purchased, I already showed you African Violet and Aubergine, also known as Eggplant. Then I also have Orchid, which is very pretty. Very, very pretty. Those are the purples that I have. Not pretty. Once upon a time, Premier did color packs, which I really, really love. And they actually gave me my own color pack, which was called the Try Me Pack from Cinnamon Stitches. I still have some down there. And what it did is it would mix colors together. And that is so pretty. <laughs> it would mix colors together in packs. So that it takes the guesswork out of it for you. I think, I don't know how well they sold for Premier Yards, but I really loved that they did that. And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I said 21. Did I say 21? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. No, 22. Alright, they're all there. They are all there. Sometimes when I place a big order like this, there'll be little check marks on my receipt so they make sure they packaged everything. Yes, I didn't need to do that today. So, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Don't worry, I'm bringing it up. I have a hard time touching boxes, though, so we're not going to hold it a long time. Isn't that not beautiful? See, I make my own dang color packs. Premier. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It's showing up a little bit on the warm side. There, that's much more accurate. That's going to be my new rainbow shelf mixed in with some of the yarns that are already up there. That are already Premier Yarns. Very, very excited about that. Now that is a color pack to write home about. <laughs> I can't wait to, to get started and disassembling. My idea is I want, and I know this is probably ridiculous to a lot of people, but like to me it's something that if I can do it for myself, I'm going to do it for myself because it makes me happy. I like my rainbow when I did the rainbow shelf, like I have other skeins of other, like colored yarns. I have solids in the Premier Basics. I have solids in, um, I don't know, Karen One Pounds. I have, I have Hershner solids. My idea for the rainbow shelf is to make it look more pretty, more cohesive, is that all the Hanks or skeins would be the same size, the smaller size, and then it would be a rainbow of the same size. But now that I'm, I want to actually make use of the rainbow, not just have it there. I'm like, let's, let's improve it. Let's make it my favorite yarn, anti-pilling acrylic from Premier. <laughs> let's make it the small balls because that's what they come in. Let's um, make it all worsted weight because that's what I work with most often. Even though I really do love a good DK weight yarn. I love working with DK weight yarn. Um, I reach for... I reach for worsted first and foremost because it works up faster and because I'm constantly feeling like I'm on a time crunch and, and I'm, I, I do projects not just for myself, I do projects for uh, other things. I do projects for Premier Yarns. I do projects for Mary Maxim. I do projects for, I do, I make gifts, you know, because there's so much going on. <laughs> I, I have no idea what the point of that was. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted it to be pretty and all a good yarn. 
I wanted I wanted to have that at my disposal. So that's why I upgraded. That's why we're doing it. We're gonna redo the shelf a little bit and um I want it to be all worsted weight. That's why worsted. That's why I work with worsted. I I remember what I was saying. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> that's why I work with worsted, because it goes up faster. It makes the projects for um the things that I am required to do go by a little faster so that like when I work with the yarn I really want to work with you know the pretty stuff the soft stuff that you know I have the time to do everything all at once because I only have two hands and as my mom used to say I only have two hands and I thank God every day for that <laughs> I never understood what she meant when she said that and now I totally get it because if I had four hands my four hands would just be going if I had six hands I just would be driving myself crazy absolutely insane so with that thankful for only having two hands and with that is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen so very excited so i'm very excited to uh, this piao has been fantastic for me beneficially if you want any of these beautiful colors of your own i do have an affiliate link below you can buy yourself some of this beautiful anti-peeling acrylic or if you want to buy anything from premier yarns you can click the link below for the premier yarns thing it helps the channel to be able to keep continue to fund my insanity to continue to fund the the tutorials to continue to fund the unboxings and the, the tool reviews and all of the things and it also you know it helps offset costs which is fantastic with that thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys